chip cookie in Kentucky or in Louisville it was uh, please and thank you I think we can make a left here I don't see any signs do you nope I think there? we can take a left we're here take a left here there's a lot of one-way streets downtown we're looking for coffee we're looking for cookies Gabby wants ice cream even though I told her it's too early for that <laughs> it's never too early for ice yeah. cream we're looking for some uh, you know cool new Lou t-shirts just a lot of shopping opportunities down here you want a couch I think you can get a couch like in Red Tree here, you know, to the left if you look at that little furniture shop Red there. Red Tree, yep. Yeah. So we're just so, out uh, shopping, having fun. Yeah, so question for you two. Um, do you get paid to do this? No. <laughs> we do not get paid to do this. And, this is on our own time. Yeah, and in fact, I, I put the gas in this car just so we could be out and having fun. I'm actually losing money doing this. Yeah. <laughs> they don't pay for the couch I'm about to buy. <laughs> I'm looking for like a uh, very specific cage for a parrot. I don't have the parrot yet, but I'm looking for like an artsy cage to put him in. Parrot cage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something hip. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you're probably in the right place right here in Nulu. So, uh, CHR, man, I got to drive it yesterday, and uh, man, I was impressed with how that thing handles. Oh, it, it handles. Sports car. Yeah, it, it really is. It's uh, very fun to drive. It settles. It's... Uh, the steering wheel, I don't know how to describe it. Just when you react, it like it responds. It's very well handling. There's no hesitation. Like there's no uh, concern when you're taking a corner, when you're, you know, accelerating, you know, braking. It doesn't ever feel like you're out of control with this thing. It makes you feel like you're driving a sports car. You're absolutely right. And it's got this great little hatch. Uh, it's called, the CHR stands for Coupe High Rider. Uh, but it's actually four doors. So the back seat, like they fold down, it's a 60-40 split. So when we find this parrot cage, I can pop the hatch, put a seat down, load it up, not going to have any issues at all. Oh, there's Feast. That's what I was actually looking at. I was kind of ran out of words there. I was saying, you, you're going for a bird cage. I'm thinking, I want barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> you know, barbecue that sounds... place right there, uh, I think that place there, uh, Feast, was um, when Next Top Chef was here recording for the season that's going on right now. I believe that was Padma's favorite place that she said that she ate at here in Louisville. That's I right. There wasn't any part of the show there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if you've ever been there, it's uh, delicious. you got to wait outside. Like, you got to get in line. And uh, there's a reason there's the line for it. The food is just fantastic. Right. Look at these old yeah, shotgun houses. Mm -hmm. This is what I see them. I can remember when Nulu was nothing but like these old shotgun houses, like empty warehouses, and just in a really quick time, this area has just built up, been such a hub for. Uh, you know, great restaurants, shopping, all kinds of cool stuff. Bird cages. Bird cages. Bird cages. <laughs> yeah, we'll find them. What time are these shops open? Are we a little bit early? I, I think we are. Yeah. I know. Maybe really like ten thirty. Yeah, coffee. There's that rabbit hash. There's rabbit. We know that you get to have a pregnant lady in the car, which is uh, <laughs> one of the great things about the CHR is all the uh, safety features on there. Quite a lot of stuff packed into that little vehicle. Oh yeah, uh, it's come standard with Toyota Safety Sense P, so it doesn't matter what uh, trim level you get. So with the CHR, they changed it. So it was a brand new car in 2018, and we're in the 2019 model year now. And um, it used to be the XLE, XLE Premium. Now you got the LE, the XLE, and the Limited, like what we're in, which has the you know heated leather seats, mm -hmm. all of that. But also the Safety Sense P is standard on all these. So if you get the LE, if you get the XLE, the Limited, you get the pre-collision, pedestrian detection, dynamic radar cruise control. Uh, you get the automatic high beams, the lane departure with sway alert. Um, we're gonna kind of speed up a little bit once we get to through this green light, because you gotta be at approximately 32 miles an hour or faster. Um, in order for the lane departure, yeah, the lane departure to kick on. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go just speed up a little bit here, and I'm gonna hit a line. 
So you heard that beeping. Right. That alerts you that, uh, you know, we exited a lane without my turn signal on, like a lot of Louisville drivers do. <laughs> Let me get to that Does screen. That Does that work at night also, Chuck? Oh, yeah. And so it's, um, I have this in my car, and so what's great about this is there's an actual screen here, so Gabby, if you can show that there, perfect. Um, these lines on the outside here, if we're above 32 miles an hour, they light up white to let you know that it's reading the lines on the road. And so I keep this screen up when I'm driving, especially when you're using dynamic radar cruise control, because that's really cool. You can set that, and then, whoa. That was really close. They were close. And so you see, you can adjust the distance between uh, your vehicle and the vehicle in front of you. When you're in dynamic radar cruise control, basically you set your speed limit at, you know, what you want your speed to be. Then if there's a car in front of you, it's going to automatically brake to keep you at that distance. So as soon as you turn on dynamic radar cruise control, you can drop it down to, you know, two bars or one bar or keep it at three bars for the max distance. And, uh it'll automatically slow you down uh, and then once that car leaves or you get around the car in front of you it'll take you back up to your max speed oh, there's the lane there departure again and so I like keeping this screen up because I can see the lane departure I know that it's reading that I know that it's reading the car in front of me when I'm in dynamic radar cruise control and so to your point um, if it's raining if it's you know snowing and there's ice and uh, salt on the ground this system lets you know, okay, we're actively reading all of these features. And I keep doing that. <laughs> I don't this lane hit this. is pretty small. It yeah. is. I don't want to hit the holiday rambler there. <laughs> I'll go back down, Clay. But yeah, this area has had so much growth mm -hmm. over the last few years. Like, it used to just be this, like, service tanks. And, like, this is what it looked like. There was garages just painted over and just... Right, exactly. And now you've got these great little shops, these little art galleries, like, on the corner here. Uh, one of my favorite um, restaurants down here, Toast for Breakfast. Uh, Harvest is fantastic if you've ever been there. Garage Bar. Garage Bar is really neat. They have these two cars out here, if you can see that. And they've got them uh, on cables. And so they slowly crank them together. So these cars will just continue to smash further and further together. Huh. Until they're completely, like, up against each other. Totally smashing. So I don't even know what, like which one they're on at this point hmm. because they've done it to so many old kind of hot rod vehicles like this interesting it's a really really cool uh and this was one of the first restaurants here there was an old car garage that they converted into a uh a little bar so they got ping pong tables all kinds of cool stuff there very cool and with a car like this you've got the uh backup camera rear cross traffic alert so easy to and it's a small you know wheel uh base so you can easily parallel park this thing back it in you've got that backup camera you know which helps you see and then with the rear cross traffic alert as you're backing up and the car's in reverse the blind spot monitoring on the side um it's looking for vehicles so if a vehicle's coming down the lane as you're trying to back out like over here if we were to stop it please and thank you and get a coffee if we were backing out and a car was coming down the lane, it's going to beep to alert us. So if we're next to like that forerunner right there, mm -hmm. you know, we don't sit as high as a forerunner. We might not be able to see, but if I'm backing out, it's going to pick up a car coming down the lane before I could even get, you know, my visual on it. So really safe car, a uh, lot of fun to drive. I mean, this thing's fantastic. I smell these restaurants really making me hungry. I'm seeing grind right down the left. That was where Oops. Yeah, you came to see that one? Yeah. Uh, I almost went down a one lane right. Uh, I saw the sign and I was like, I don't know if Chuck saw that. I was thinking it was this one. I was looking for climbing. <laughs> oh, Lord. One of the joys of yeah, here's excitement of driving in Hulu is the one way streets. Yes, indeed. Where was Guy Ferry? Fieri? Uh, yeah, Fieri. Uh, yeah. Back at uh, Grind uh, Burger Kitchen, I was actually started by some uh, people that I used to work with, and uh, they've done a fantastic job. It's uh, started out from a food truck to a storefront to uh, really having a national following. Uh, That's awesome. Cool. And then we also passed by Deco, which uh, we'll put in the comments or in the description on this video the, uh, the actual one from the next food network. So we're going to pass it over here, I think, on the right here in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, they did one of their competitions here at Deco. A really cool restaurant, outdoor seating. It's actually, be over here to our left. So yeah, we'll put a, we'll put a link to all that stuff as well in the description. If you want to check those out. Yeah, 
There's Rye. Uh, yeah, Deca is, I, I think, think down, down that there. way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's a grind right there. Yeah, Ground Burgers is very mm -hmm. good. But yeah, this great little area has grown up so quickly. You got the Akasha Brewing Company right across the street there. Mm -hmm. And it's a hip part of town. Like This car fits in very well with this area. You can imagine like a parrot birdcage hanging out the back of this thing. <laughs> As you're shopping for, you know, throw pillows. We're going to have to get you a parrot and put it on your shoulder. Just walk around. Oh, I would love that. That would be perfect. Just repeating all the cool stuff I say. Should we get you an eye patch, too? I would love that, too. Yeah, eye patch and a parrot. Mm -hmm. I guess that's our next can, task. Let's can, you speak, can you speak pirate? Chuck, do you speak pirate? I know you're baiting me to get me to say arg, and <laughs> dude, I'm not going to fall for it. Like, that's the thing. When you're an actual pirate with a you know parrot and an eye patch you don't have to like prove yourself you that's true to... people just assume that that is what yeah, you are yeah. so i'm not going to be a poser and make just pirate noises just so everybody thinks i'm cool in this video mm. i don't think anyone's going to think that <laughs> <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> All right, thank, thanks, folks. Thanks for coming out and watching the video. It's been a great day here, so bye. Are we still filming? Uh, with that being said, you probably do need an eye patch. <laughs> just a face patch. That's just, great. A face patch. Yeah, just to look like anything different but what I do. Oh, God. A face tattoo or something like that, that'd be good. Mm. <laughs> Get a CHR across my face. <laughs> <laughs> like those, those windows are my eyes. Oh my god! We can make this work. Will and the, we really could. Will the group pay for it? Yeah, uh, we could get them. They might. For a face they, tattoo. They might not. They might not. <laughs> so Chuck, that's a CHR. Also, isn't it on the TNGA platform? Yes, it's the new platform. So TNGA is Toyota's new global architecture. Um, this is a unibody, uh, so it's not like frame mounts into the body. It's all one piece. It's uh, stiffer. It's uh, more responsive. It gets better fuel efficiency because of the way that this handles. This is the 2.0 liter four-cylinder, uh, so it gets good gas mileage. It's actually 29 miles uh, combined on this vehicle, which is great for a crossover SUV. Mm -hmm. But it also has good pep. Like It handles fantastic. We can't stress that enough. And so Toyota, uh, with this TNGA platform, they have in the back, and when it first came out, we called it a double wishbone suspension, which if you know anything about suspensions, a double rear wishbone suspension is a smoother, better ride. It like handles better. Oh, we're gonna go down the alley. However, because of this new platform and the way that they were able to update it and everything like that, we, but like, couldn't call it a double rear wishbone suspension because it's its own thing. You still get the like effectiveness of a double rear wishbone suspension, but because of the space saving technology and the just intuitive design that Toyota came up with, mm -hmm. we can't call it a double rear wishbone suspension. We have to call it a double rear wishbone suspension like suspension. So okay. it's just this car is packed with so much technology, so much new innovative design that you would think like it would win all the design awards and it's just like everyday operating procedure for Toyota. They're just like, yeah, here's all these great new ideas and great new features and great safety technology. And this isn't even our best selling car. This is the CHR, which is just a stylish, sporty, fun car to drive. Um, it is actually the number one selling car in Japan, which is where obviously Toyota's out of, but uh, you just can't say enough great things about the design and the function of the CHR as you watch as we go through this kind of dilapidated alleyway here in New Lou. <laughs> oh, there's the new, uh, you know what? Close coffee. You know, one thing that you're talking about with the design stuff that you can really tell from, you know, the view that I have is this diamond uh, appeal to it. Uh, right. It's just like kind of throughout the vehicle exterior, I believe on the interior as well. Yes, that was, uh, one of the main things the designer when they uh were going through and uh you know mocking this up it was diamond exactly so diamond plated if you look like the diamond design here mm -hmm. it's even imprinted up there in the roof i don't know if you can even catch that you know, yep. in this light but yeah i see it there's so many like if you look at the outside the wheels the uh, 
body side molding, the door panels, like everything mm -hmm. just has a diamond shape and inspired. And the one thing I want to point out is this is one of the first cars uh, that Toyota's released that's been, it, for the driver, it looks like a cockpit. And everything's very centered towards the driver. So the radio actually faces towards the driver. Everything's kind of wrapped around the driver. It's a very driver centric uh, vehicle. Um, you know, most cars, it's all flat, you know, dashboard through here, kind of uninspired. It's set back. You have to like lean way over. Right. Uh, if you're the driver. But this is a very driver oriented, uh, maximizing the driver experience uh, when you're behind the wheel. You know, one thing that I noticed yesterday when I was driving it was just some of the uh, the trim on the inside of the vehicle, like on the door panels and around the handles and stuff, just mm -hmm. things that attention to detail you normally wouldn't see. Oh, yeah. Just those little diamond, like, steel-plated look to it. Um, it really is. I mean, you're absolutely correct. It's stylish. This actually has more hip space than the uh, RAV4, which is the bigger crossover. Uh, at least for 18. 19, they did a complete body style change on the RAV4, so that... So that may have changed, but as far as the 2018 RAV4, this one actually has more hip space. And that's what we would see. We would have people come in, they're like, you know, I don't feel comfortable in a car. And we would show them the CHR. It sits higher, so it's easier to get in and out of. Mm -hmm. yeah, this way. Um, yeah. Super paranoid about the one way streets. <laughs> it sits higher, so you kind of just get in it. It's not like going down into a sedan. It has a higher seat. And then also the bigger hip space is just a comfortable car to be in. Yeah, you know, I'm driving Tacoma and it sets up decently. I doesn't set up as high as a Tundra, but it sets up pretty good. And the difference in it, going down the CHR wasn't as much as I expected, but feeling like it's lower. Oh yeah, you hop in and out of this thing. Uh, you don't have to like pull yourself out of it. You just swing your legs out and, you know, take off running in a sprint. <laughs> exactly. That's how I get out of cars. I just <laughs> kind of roll on. Okay. Well, what are you running from? It depends. Usually Gabby. And I could run super fast at eight months pregnant. So, yeah, you know. So, yeah, you guys when I just say imagine sprint, that. Like, <laughs> I feel like there'd just be a lot of yelling and you running. That's usually right. That sounds more accurate. <laughs> you know, we would need to do she's a demonstration. <laughs> she's probably going to start yelling at you pretty soon if you don't get all the chocolate chip cookies you're going to on. I know, you know, I was. Out. I was just thinking that. I was like, where's my cookie? I keep looking for a place to park. I also <laughs> want to see what Quills is doing with the coffee up here. Uh, it's just what? great how New Loose expanded from Market Street to now Main Street. Mm -hmm. And everything that's happened, you know, just in this area in general. It used to be, uh, you see uh, I-65s up here. You didn't want to come east of I-65. It was nothing on this side. You had to be like center of downtown to get any kind of, you know, experience. But now you got, you know, I thought there's a mint julep uh, mural right here on the side of this building. Mm -hmm. There's the coolest coffee. And it, all, it looks like an old firehouse. Yeah, it's a cool building. It really is. Really great architecture for down here. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, you know, we kind of align it with the CHR and the great architecture and the kind of forward design. This is not something that you've seen before. They're not replicating Germantown. They're not replicating the Highlands. They're not replicating, you know, St. Matthews. New lose its own thing. The CHR, uh, there wasn't something that this replaced necessarily. It was like a brand new design. Here's something innovative. Here's something fun to drive. Here's something unique and we're going to introduce it and it's, uh, you know, got a great uh, feedback and response from the public. Mm -hmm. How would a pirate say CHR? Do what? How would a pirate say CHR? I'm not. Uh, <laughs> you would say CHR. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. All right, thanks, folks, for coming out. We'll see you. <laughs> Never. That's the end of this. <laughs> oh, Lord. And that's a wrap. So we're here in Nulu, and we're uh, having a great time with the uh, 2019 Toyota CHR. Now I have Chuck here with me, and and as you guys know, we've been talking back and forth about the interior of this vehicle, but we want to talk a little bit about the exterior as well. Yeah. So Chuck, um, tell us a little bit about this vehicle and everything that you see and you get with this car. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. Absolutely, it really is. It's uh, the CHR stands for uh, Coupe High Rider, so. It mimics the two-door uh, coupe, but it's actually four doors for convenience. 
and it's a really sporty car so real aggressive styling aggressive front here um, but it also has a lot of safety features like we talked about the toyota safety sense p pre-collision pedestrian detection radar uh, dynamic radar cruise control lane departure alert automatic high beams all that's done here you got a uh, multi-millimeter wave radar here on the front you've got the in-dash camera and again just the aggressive styling um, the diamond shape continues throughout the entire side of the vehicle at the top here this is the two-tone so you've got the uh, black roof on the top here you've also got the crossbars that you could be added or take it off it's an option on these so you can store luggage on here if you wanted to but just great sporty features uh, i mean they really went all in with the details the diamonds and the wheels the fenders i mean everything just the shape of this car screams you know uh sport right it's a fun car to drive to i mean you got you were the passenger but i was we were uh it, the way it takes corners the way it handles it's just it's one of my favorite cars to drive it really yeah is. It, it really is it's great mm -hmm. now um if you guys have any questions if you would like to stop by our dealership to take a closer look at one you guys can also test drive this vehicle you can come out to nulu if you like um you can give us a call now the best phone number is 502-214 7085 and I'll have a link uh, to the vehicle that we were just driving in the comments. Thanks you guys so much for joining us and uh, we look forward to seeing y'all soon. Bye. Bye guys.